Hello and welcome to Normal Game Couch. Uh, today we're playing Hatoful Boyfriend. I'm joined with Mrs. Elfman. Woohoo! And I'm your usual run of the mill host, Peyton. Uh, but today this is where this is not a run of the mill game. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Um, it is a, a, a pigeon dating sim. <laughs> but here's the catch: you play as a human female. You you don't play as another pigeon. Um, but I guess we'll get into most of that here when we start the game. So, uh, you can pick your language. I guess we want the, uh, the Queen's English, right? Whoop, passed it. Yeah, default option. Alright, so, uh, the, this is, uh, gonna be something else. So, you ready to start this here? Oh, yeah. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna, like, read all the dialogue or not. I, I haven't figured that out yet, but we'll just kind of go with the flow. Welcome to St. Pigeon Nations. Sa okay. Off to a good start. <laughs> it's apostrophe S, like St. Pigeon Nations what? All right, please enter your name. It's the name of the school. I got it. <laughs> what do we want our, uh, our first name to be? Your face. No, <laughs> I guess Peyton. Uh, let's get or weird. are you let's, a chick? Let's, let's get weird with it. You're a chick in this, so let's... How about... Um, Boop. B O O P. <laughs> Aww. Girl boop. Okay, sounds good. Um, last name. Smithers. I got one. <laughs> McDovin. <laughs> okay. Uh, there, uh, uh, doves and pigeons are of the same genus. I found that out when I was looking on Wikipedia today. I believe it. Is is girl boop McDovin okay? <laughs> that is yeah. fantastic. <laughs> That's more than okay. It's fantastic. How do oh I, yeah. Uh, yes. Hatoful Boyfriend includes a powerful visualization module, allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Oh my goodness. Display human portraits? Yes. When first introduced, yes. If it was the whole thing, I'd say no, because I, I, I like the bird aspect. Yeah, but I want to know what they would look like as a human. Yeah. All right. Configuration saved. All right, let's get, let's get this ball rolling. St. Pigeon Nations, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. <laughs> I should probably say this school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. <laughs> Sounds fun. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports all come to St. Pigeon Nations. <laughs> the teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. I'm often asked why I chose to come here despite not being a bird. That's a good question. That's a good question, yeah. It's a long story. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. Ryuta! <laughs> 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 He's re really uh, up in our face, man. Yeah, he is. Usually you have been ready for an hour by now, girl boop. Overslept? Alright, there's there's what that guy looks like. He's kind of handsome. This rock dove is named Kawara Ryota. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. <laughs> <laughs> he can be a little mis mischievous mischievous but he's responsible and kind all right i'm liking him so far breakfast he's was the first one but that's okay yeah, breakfast was a little hard to catch today i can't relax without red meat inside what <laughs> living as a hunter gatherer sounds tough i'd be happy to make you breakfast you know i might take you up on that offer when starvation looms thanks ryuta Oh, the bell already? Come on, we need to hurry to class. Jeepers! Jeepers. No, good, no good being late on the first day. And so Ryuta pulled me along into the school. With what? His beak? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> he doesn't have hands. He probably like like latched on to her hair, you know, like birds do, and like <laughs> like like fl- flapped his wings to try to get like guided out. her. <laughs> yeah. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. I don't really understand that. No, I don't either. <laughs> the most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon. By the pigeon and for the pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is good. Oh, yeah. I'm liking this already. I think we're in 2-3. Ryuta and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces. A strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. <laughs> I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher is here. <laughs> hey, what's up, teach? Good morning, every birdie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Er, I'm Nanaki Kazuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. Oh, you should know. I specialize in math and physics and also some other things. <laughs> <laughs> that was strange. Why did they do it like that? Oh, man. Visual novels are filled with stuff like that. You played uh, Katawa Shoujo on, on yeah. Twitch before, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, so you, you know how it is. Oh uh, Yeah, but that, was, that one wasn't as strange as this. Zzz, zzz. <laughs> okay, Ruby Rod. <laughs> Sir, wake up. It's homeroom. He sleeps with his eyes open? <laughs> this quail is Nanaki Kazuaki. He is famously so soporific math. I don't. You know what? I I'm pretty linguistic in real life. I'm not sure what that word is. I don't know that word he, either. He's a he's a famously soporific math professor. He's dreamy. I'd heard <laughs> the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show, great minds come in all forms. Looks like we're getting a lot of comments, but, uh, yeah, in the chat. Yeah, but once we get to a certain yeah. point, we'll open up chat. Ah, I'm sorry. Uh, isn't it a little warm in here? <laughs> <laughs> Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, Shirogane. Ooh. Oh, fancy. Mm-hmm. What, what is the point? What is the point? <laughs> I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I guess that's that. <laughs> hey, 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 that's no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse, and we'll all turn into kulaks and dissenters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. Uh, Devolver Digital put this out. The same company they, that, that's doing that uh, Mother Russia Mother Russia Bleeds. Oh, that's really strange. Uh, they, they, didn't mix de- the they didn't develop it, but they they publish it in the States. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank God for Devolver Digital. <laughs> uh, yeah, we do have a lot of comments coming in, so I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, on-screen chat. Give me a moment. I'll be right back. They can still hear us, by the way. Yeah, I know. All right, let's see. Broadcast setting. I'm getting there. Display message to spectators. There we go. Okay. Hello, uh, Mythos Zemus. I would think Methos. Methos? What did I say? Mythos. <laughs> all right, yeah. Welcome to the uh, <laughs> welcome to the stream. Thanks for checking out Normal Game Couch and uh, all that. So we're gonna go ahead and continue on. I'm sorry uh, if 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 you uh, say something and I don't respond to it right away. Because this game is pretty much all reading, so I I can't read two sections of the screen at once. But I'll I'll try to take time out to make sure that I'm uh, uh, talking uh, to chat and inter- interacting with our viewership here. So anyway, thanks again for joining us, and let's continue on. Yep. 
All right. Don't want to turn into a dissenter. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shiragane? Um, it's Shiragane. <laughs> <laughs> Meh. Shiragane and LaBelle Sakia. The goose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You look at this guy. He's all like, I don't care. He's, he's probably like the guy that's there because his family's rich, you know? That's, yeah. that's probably all of them, though. Yeah, well, yeah. And it's a very prestigious college. But he probably got, like, pushed to do it. Yeah. It seems this fantail is Shiragane Sakia. His feathers would make any birdie proud. <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty stuck up. But then, transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. No thanks. Sakia sits down, glaring daggers at Ryota and me. What a D-bag. Yeah, he, he does seem like quite a douche. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. <laughs> Lunch already! Today is, <laughs> today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me, I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. You should have returned them a long time ago, girl boop. I hope you like bird puns because two can play at this game. <laughs> you know, with this game, I'll allow it. I norm I'm not normally a big fan of puns. Oh but yeah, I know. I, you I think I have to. I think I have to like, like, like lay off the pun hate while I play this game. Otherwise, I'm gonna have a bad time. <laughs> <laughs> I love puns. I think they're stupid but funny, which is right up my alley. <laughs> Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. <laughs> huh? Is someone looking at me? Stop looking at me, Swan. <laughs> <laughs> probably, Stop looking at me, Swan. Probably just my imagination. <laughs> or not. A morning dove stands in a dark corner, staring at my direction. Staring in my direction. That's a pretty morning dove. Yeah. Morning Shimmery. doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Yes, they are. I can attest to that. Um, did you want something from me? <laughs> huh? He looked away. Not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Uh, no, I haven't played it before. This is the first time. <laughs> yeah, we're just winging it. Yeah, I'm winging it, yeah. Yeah, I got that. Are you sure? Yeah, I don't want anything. F I don't want anything with you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. Uh, he's a, he's a materialist. Apparently. <laughs> he glances at the desk as if to say, "Hurry up and return them already." Oh, he's, your books. he's the librarian. I got gotcha. you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they were a little too <laughs> dense, and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? He silently, silently returns his gaze to his book. He's rude. He didn't even answer you. Maybe he's in a bad mood. I'm McDevin Girlboop, a sophomore. <laughs> what are, What about you? <laughs> Girlboop McDevin. Yep. You're... Nageki. <laughs> Fujishiro. <laughs> Nageki. <laughs> freshman. <laughs> oh, he's just a freshman. He needs to chill it out. Why is he all acting like the uh, like the librarian then? Well, he's just bookish. Okay. <laughs> Fujishiro Nageki, huh? Morning doves are pretty rare in Japan. He's kind of cute. I dig the green hair. He's emo. <laughs> he's got like an emo deal to him. Yeah, well, that's all right. Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad. Yeah, see, the anime style is great because, like, I picked up on that right away just by the look of the of, of the character drawn. Mm -hmm. Like that. That's what he so, was emo. Yeah, that's what's so great about like <laughs> anime, though. Is get, like they kind of have it down to a science where like they can convey uh, like personality and emotion just mm -hmm. by the way they're drawn. Like American animation is kind of. Well, they were, they, they were getting there to a point back in the day, but then everything switched to CG and ruined everything. Yeah, it lost its charm. Yeah. Leave me alone. Alright, so he's going to be the hard-to-get one, right? <laughs> he's reading his book again. 
Okay, sorry to bother you. <laughs> yeah, we're having a pheasant day. Oh, definitely. <laughs> I keep meeting depressing people today. <laughs> Poor girl boob. <laughs> now, now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... Uh-oh. Uh, you should have been instructed not to approach me in school. <laughs> Come on, Sakia. What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother after all these years? Yeah, I was going to say they look like they're the same breed. Yeah. My brother? You must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Oh. Please snap. don't try to talk to me again. I've no time for half breeds. I'll be pigeon going. snap. Yeah, pigeon <laughs> snap. I'll be going now. Hey, wait just a. I guess even if we're in the same school now, wait. Even if we're in the same school now, what's done is done. I some, wonder what he did. Some punctuation would be nice. <laughs> I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. <laughs> Hard to swallow, but I love this game. Yeah, I got you. I'm glad you came into my stream. You're a funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> The ever-popular trendsetter and ladies' man, Sakazaki Yuya, is Sakuya's brother? I I'm liking what... him other than the fact that, yeah. he's not, that he's a ladies' man. That's not good. I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey! Huh? <laughs> you heard that whole thing, right? <laughs> Are you a friend of Sakuya's? Uh, I'm sorry. Did you notice how it shook? Like you were yeah. like, shake, shaking yeah. your head? I didn't mean to listen in on you. Okay. <laughs> no sweat. <laughs> I try to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies. But that there wasn't too cool. <laughs> sexy and suave. <laughs> two, two words I would use to describe a pigeon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This fantail pigeon is Sakazaki Yuya, an upperclassman. Hey, Senpai noticed me. <laughs> <laughs> I've never talked to him before, but he's famous, or infamous, throughout the school. Everybody knows of him. Oh, he's definitely handsome. <laughs> yeah. That's what they asked. <laughs> You're girl boop, right? <laughs> how, how did you... I'm sorry, I can't stop giggling. <laughs> yeah, no, this is great. I mean, I, don't, I, I wouldn't have it any other way. I know every birdie here. Besides, you're the only human. Well, yeah, duh. A single poppy in a field of rye. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say you were a friend of Sakia's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. What? <laughs> we're in the same class, that's all. I'd never have thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. <laughs> <laughs> that's not very nice. Aristocrat wannabe. He is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article in the flesh. In the feather. Yeah, in the feather. <laughs> he is. He's a bit of a pain, so good luck, mon ami. Adieu. Adieu. <laughs> that guy's a piece of work. He really is a noble bird. <laughs> I've never heard anything like that about you, Yuya, though. Probably a twisty business. <laughs> what? <laughs> Um, I don't know. I don't know who we're going to get all lovey-dovey with. I'm liking the first, the first dude. I yeah. don't remember his name, though. Or the, the emo guy. Yeah, if he turns out to be nice. Yeah, it might be more challenging, you know? Yeah. It kind of reminds me of that burned face chick from Katawa Shoujo. Yeah. How she was, like, all, like... like Standoffish like, yeah. and shy. Yeah, yeah. That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yay! Yay! Huh? <laughs> Sir, where's Ryuta? He said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go and see if he's still there. Now that I think about it, Ryuta always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. I think I'm just going to play it by, by ear. Uh, you know, I, I, I think it's too early for me to decide. Like, like I said, this is the first time I ever played, so I'll probably just kind of feel out each situation as it comes up and, and decide at that point. Excuse me. 
No birdies here. No birdies here. There's no one sleeping behind the curtains, and the doctor isn't here either. <laughs> wow, this game's amazing. <laughs> My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. There's no birdie here. Ryuta? No reply. The infirmary is empty. Weird. Did he go home already? It's like, how many times did they need to reiterate yeah. the fact that there was someone there? Like, like it's empty. I, we get it. Nobody's here. I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Wait, is the room empty? I don't remember. I think it's empty. Okay. Maybe it's, may, maybe it's not so much empty as it lacks birds. <laughs> now that I think of it, I haven't been here in here much before. Unlike Ryuta, I'm perfectly healthy. Lacking birds is very empty. La lacking birds <laughs> is the same as soul emptiness. Absolutely. Which reminds me, I, I'm, I'm hoping to get a, uh, a zebra finch next month. That's true. We were talking about that earlier. Yeah, I was looking up zebra finch videos on YouTube. <laughs> it's been a very bird day over here. <laughs> Whoa, they've got all kinds of drugs in here. <laughs> Ethylpar, wait, ethylpar trifilucio benzene. What do these even do? Care to find out? Yes. Oh, I heard about the doctor. Oh, yeah, me too. Yeah, I'm not going to spoil <laughs> anything, but I've heard about this guy. This this guy's this guy's something else. I heard about this guy. D -d 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 doctor? Doctor? D -d doctor? I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. Hmm? <laughs> No, thank you. I think it's time to turn tail, fe tail feather and get the F out of there. Turn tail feather? <laughs> yeah. See, I can do it, too. <laughs> this is a great song, though. Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy, like uh, Methos Zemus pointed out. Yep. This partridge is... Iwamine Shu? Hold on a second. I want to get this right. Iwamine... That sounds Native American. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. I'm not sure how to pronounce this one. Iwamine. Iwamine, I think, probably. Shu. The school doctor. He's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation among the student body. Every birdie knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with aspergillus, cetacosis, or even worse things. And I never even heard him come in the door. Ninja Doctor? Ninja Doctor? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm pulling from Methosemus yeah, there. Yeah, pulling from Methosemus. <laughs> you don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Uh, I heard Ryuta. Kawara from 2-3 was supposed to be here. Him? He's already gone. He gone. Oh, why didn't he come find me before going home? Sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. Wonder if I'm gonna get content ID because of the Dance of Sugar Plum Fairy. Uh, I don't know. I hope not. I hope not too. That would be nonsense. <laughs> ah, finally out of that den of evil. <laughs> <laughs> Ryuta's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh, I never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watching. I want to take the kendo club class. Heck yeah, that's thingy. like fighting, right? What's yeah, that? it's like uh, it's like uh, instead of like using katanas, you use like sticks. Yeah. Like kendo. Uh, wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. Oh, I don't get to choose. I thought I might get to choose. Oh, uh, a lot of poop. I've been on a lot of streams of this game. None have ever been content I did. All right, good. Thanks. Good. Good to know. <laughs> I ran in middle school, and it's always funny watching the birds hop around. <laughs> so she's going to track so she can watch other students yeah. make fun of them. Like, you know, she can make fun of them. Yeah. <laughs> or just, like, watch, like, little tiny birds hop around the track. <laughs> hey, I'd do it. I think the club room is on the ground floor, off to the side. A white dove is having a tantrum outside. <laughs> coo! Coo! This is no pudding for a man! 
What? I had to double take because I wasn't sure I was reading that right. <laughs> Ku Okasan rejects it. It is a lie, a vicious falsification. <laughs> He's dancing around on a squished pudding. <laughs> hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. <laughs> I say. <laughs> oh my okay, God. so this guy is an actual bird. Yeah. I mean, they're all actual birds, but this guy's human representation is also a bird. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Does that mean he's like a six-foot bird walking around? I don't flip a no, man. This is Okosan. He doesn't really look it, but supposedly he's a fantail pigeon, I think. Either way, he's hyper. Coo. Yeah, see, he's like the only one actually saying bird stuff. Yeah. I think he's like an actual six-foot bird. That's bizarre. Okasan has suffered a deception most vile. A wretched betrayal. So, like, he's cooing, and then in parentheses, that's like the translation of that coo. Betrayal? Betrayal? Do you want to know why Okasan has no human portrait? The game never tells you. It is not spoilers. Um, if it's not spoilers, yeah, go ahead and let me know if, if you know why. I'm, I'm kind of interested in that. Yeah, I'm kind of... As long as it's not a spoiler, though. Yeah. Cool. Okasan instructed that pudding be provided for new members. I'm not going to read the coups. I'm just going to read the yeah. translations. <laughs> Okasan is the creator of the game's... Okasan is the creator of the game's pet bird. She didn't know how he would look as a human. Oh, I get it. So she put her own bird in the game. Okay. Cool. All right. Yeah, that makes sense. So Thanks for letting me know. Her bird likes to dance around in pudding, maybe. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> but this is no pudding. Ousted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the street and shot by those he trusted most. <laughs> it's squished and filthy. But the thing under his feet looks... Why, that's not, why am I using that accent for my own internal dialogue? I it's, just can imagine that's how the bird would talk. Yeah. It's squish and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. It's like a snack pack. What's wrong with it? Spare the jests, young lady. <laughs> Okasan oh used... <laughs> Okasan used wing attack. It's, it's super, super effective. effective. All of a sudden it turns into Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> They'll rue the day they crossed Okasan. He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn, he will. <laughs> Okasan must now train to achieve true pudding. Farewell. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? And he's gone. He's, he gone. A good, he's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? Everything. And there, there's always a track, a track team in games like this. Yeah, I know. And so ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pigeon Nations. Er, uh, I think uh, we want to choose the class council today. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be enthusiastic about it or anything. As you all know, this school doesn't require you to join any club. If you want to, you can. But if you don't, then you're free to go home after school. Hmm... Okasan has time only for the track team. That's good. What about you, Shiragane? He's gonna be a douche, that's what. Yeah. A foolish question. I already hold a position here. <laughs> yeah, student body D-bag. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, that's right. You became student president when you were admitted. What the hell? <laughs> Nepotism ho! Don't we get to vote? <laughs> <laughs> Just coming to school is enough for me. I'm with you. <laughs> yeah. You have to take care of your mother on your own and all. Hmm. I wonder what I should do. Join the... Alright, here we go. Hmm. Upper stuff! Nobody can see, but I just put my arm up in, like, triumph. Yeah. <laughs> was lo Let's see. If we want to get close to that, that emo guy, was he the one? He was, the he one was in the library, the library right? yeah. Hmm. Or there's the crazy guy with the pudding and the track team. Yeah. 
And student and council student is... And student council is like the D-bag that D bag that yeah. yeah. I'm All down right. for library staff. Yeah, let's do library staff. I've seen 13 playthroughs of this game, four playthroughs of the sequel, read all the manga, and listened to the drama CDs. Yeah, I, I, I was looking at those drama CDs on the internet. There's, I think there's four of them. Uh, I guess they kind of play like a radio drama. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah, this, this game's a big deal, apparently. <laughs> I like it. All right, yeah, let's do the library staff there. Woohoo! That's everyone, isn't it? Have fun. Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend. Hmm. Okay, I get it. Like, you up the thing, your stats, by going to the different classes. Okay. I say music! Uh, yeah, that would, uh, so it's wisdom, vitality, and charisma, right? So Yeah, math charisma would be, can be useful. Math would be wisdom, I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. Gym would be vitality, I'm yeah. assuming. And charisma and music would be, would be charisma. Yeah. Um, music class, music class. <laughs> but I mean, our wisdom. <laughs> I'm like a little kid. Our wisdom's really low. Yeah, but I think charisma is hey, really important but, when it comes to. But check it out, though. Getting a hotel full boyfriend. And, and <laughs> Me uh, Methos Zemus probably knows this, but um, don't don't tell me if I'm right or wrong because I, I want to find out for myself ultimately. But. Um, wouldn't wisdom help us attract that bookish fellow in the library? Don't you think it he'd may, be attracted it may, yeah, to wisdom? Yeah, you may be right. So maybe we should do math. All right. Let's let's go. Let's go math. I mean, as long as the game doesn't make me actually do math, I think I'm good with it. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping it doesn't <laughs> make you do. All right, we'll do math. I, I want to do math here. Uh, each bird's favorite bean. Um, I He's mean, saying he could help you with that. Yeah, maybe. I mean, uh, I don't, I don't know if I want to know that either. I kind of like, uh, I kind of like not knowing what's up yet. Well, maybe, we appreciate yeah, the, um, we, I the appreciate no swelling it, or backseat gaming. That's really maybe, nice. Maybe if if I do like a second playthrough or something, like, send me a friend request. It's P A E D I N. Send me a friend request on uh, PSN and. Uh, uh, you know, we'll keep in touch, and, and I, I can ask you about all this stuff later. If you, if you want to help me like that, I appreciate it. Yeah, you seem like you're quite a scholar in this game, yeah. and I like that. <laughs> he's a gentle, <laughs> he's a gentleman and a scholar. <laughs> he's a gentle bird. You're a gentle bird, yeah. <laughs> all right, so let's let's get back to let's get back to business here. Mr. Nanaki dozed off as usual, but class was somehow good anyway. I feel smarter already. <laughs> okay. And, and girl boop leveled up. Wisdom increased by five. Woohoo! Good, that's exactly what I wanted. I'm on receptionist duty today. Better hurry. <laughs> Boring, as usual. The library here doesn't seem very popular. Not enough books? Yeah, that's why libraries aren't popular. <laughs> it's not that people don't like to read anymore. They should, though. It's on the fifth floor though, so at least the view is nice. Sitting here twiddling my thumbs is bad for me. I wish someone would come ask me something. <laughs> something tells me someone's going to come ask something. Yeah. There's no birdie here. I wonder if it would be okay to close early. Ah, <sighs> I wish I could just spread my wings and fly away. What? You don't even have wings. That's why it's a wish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Planning to jump off the building? The window there is rather good for that, Miss Receptionist. <laughs> <laughs> Nageki, when did you... I've been here all along. <laughs> <laughs> I never noticed. He's almost as bad as the doctor. Now, assuming your theory is correct about wisdom and Nageki, you'd have to think if there were any other birds that might also benefit from... I'm assuming the next word was wisdom. <laughs> I think it cuts off the, the thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I never noticed. He's almost as bad as the doctor. You're thinking I have no presence, right? It's okay. I already know that. Aww. That's sad. <laughs> it's kind of like kind of like when I went to school. <laughs> Don't be a Debbie Downer now. <laughs> you certainly seem to like this place. 
Yes. Is that a problem? Um. No, books are nice. Yeah, books are nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. They cut, I think they, they have like a character limit or something. It's poppycock. Yeah. <laughs> Bird fun. Mm. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> Why don't you join the library staff, Nageki? You could read whatever you want. I already read whatever I want. <laughs> 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 yeah, this guy is cool. I like this guy. <laughs> Touche. Touche. <laughs> you shouldn't slack off, Miss Receptionist. And with that, he takes a book and is going between the stacks. What a strange bird. What an odd duck. <laughs> ah, sitting at home is so relaxing. Wait, wait. She lives in a cave? What? <laughs> I don't know if that's what, what I'm seeing right now. That's what it looks like. She lives in a cave. Oh? Tomorrow is the class hike. Should I prepare anything? We won't be going far, so I don't have to. Well, health first. I think I'll have some udon and go to sleep. Yeah, it looks like she lives in a cave. Yeah, she's a, she lives in a cave. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty great. Mm -hmm. Today is the hike. We've stopped for a break on a hillside. Who should I talk to? No Nageki here. Um, I don't know. Who's the last one? Kaz Kazu Kazuaki? Yeah. I forgot to use my realization that you live in a cave in 3-2. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, uh, I, I kind of don't know which one we should go with. Uh, I'm going, I'm thinking San, because he's bizarre. All right. So entertaining. Which one was, is, is the doctor? That was the one with the pudding on the track. Oh, yeah. Is the doctor out here with us? I can't remember which one the doctor was. Uh, I don't think so, unless it's the bottom one, because I don't well, know. Well, I actually don't want to get too close to the doctor, because then I'd probably die really soon. <laughs> yeah. Because I've heard, so I've heard some stories. I've heard some stories, All right, too. so San is the dude out at the track, right? Yeah, the crazy one. I wonder where up the sun went. I haven't seen him since we stopped here. <laughs> it's not here. The pudding is not here. <laughs> ah. It's missing? Did you bring it to eat for lunch? Do you want me to tell Oh yeah, there's like a 30 second delay. We already we already kind of solved that thing. Thanks though. Um it's missing. Did you bring it to eat for lunch? No. Okasan believed that wonderful pudding could be found on hikes. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a kind of pudding that lives in the mountains? Okasan will now search elsewhere for the pudding. <laughs> <laughs> it's like all. Oh, did you hear that? It sounded like a like a race car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's, and he's gone. <laughs> he's, uh, he's he's fast, man. When it comes to pudding, he he's fast. <laughs> what kind of pudding is he looking for, anyway? <laughs> Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend. Music. Yeah, we'll do music. We did math last time, so music. Today is a music history lesson. So much thinking outside the box. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I feel like I'm going to fly off the handle. <laughs> but this is what Mozart is all about, I guess. That's not how you spell Mozart. I think they were saying most art. Oh. <laughs> this is what most art is all about, I guess. Oh, my God. Maybe it's like a, I totally didn't get I, I that one. I think it's one. probably a pun that works better with, like, Japanese or something. Because in English, they have to, like, misspell it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know. Whatever. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> I just didn't get that one. <laughs> I wonder what these, what those wigs felt like. They look like they're wearing ptarmigans on their heads. I don't know what that is. I don't know. Do you seek to mock the great masters, low-born Philistine? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. No, I love m classical music. Girl boop leveled up. Charisma increased by five. Woohoo! 
Uh, I imagine you're. I was. I was reading the chat. Tell you what. I'll stay wings off for this playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just I. I don't really. I don't want any spoilers. I mean. You know, it's, 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 we, we, you know, we talk about what's going on and stuff, but, like, anything, like, any, like, kind of deep strategy, like, what beans or whatever everybody likes or, or like, what options to pick for certain things, like, I, I don't necessarily want to hear any of that. So we'll uh, just wing it. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just wing it, yeah. Already har har. Thank, thanks for the, uh, the offer, though. I appreciate it. I imagine, I imagine you're all well aware, but the sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do. Sports festival season already? Yuck. Yeah, I'm not too into sports. No if sports. it were in the fall, it would conflict with a cultural festival, so it's always been in May. What are you going to do, Ryuta? I haven't decided, but probably the three-legged race. Some birdie has to. We gotta do it with some birdie else. Yeah. Okasan will handle the marathon? Indeed he will! <laughs> <laughs> you, you do have a lot of stamina, Okasan. What about you, Sakia? You can't possibly be expecting me to run in some race, can you? <laughs> it is a sports <laughs> festival. Is there an event that doesn't involve running? How about being a cheerleader? <laughs> His tail looks like a pom-pom. Yeah. The general, in other words... Very well. Leave it to me. What? Uh, I guess like the the like the I don't know. <laughs> I was thinking <laughs> like the general like uh, as a title of like. I have no idea. Whatever. Like General Sakia, the the mm -hmm. the cheerleader master or something. I don't know. Um, I don't think that's. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, this game's this game's weird. Also, the first aid team is always shorthanded, so I'm sure they could use help if any birdies still can't decide. That's all for today. Ryuta's doing the three-legged race, Okasan's running the marathon, and Saki is a cheerleader. Yuya might be running the first aid tent. What should I do? I'll have to think about it. I'm thinking first aid tent or three-legged race. Hmm. Three legged race sounds fun. Yeah, okay. Today's a sports festival. I never did make up my mind. What should I do? Go to the. Or, or library and just avoid the whole thing. I'm. You know, I mean, if we're trying to. Uh, to go after what's his name, I think we should go to the library. Cause yeah, he, I'm kind of thinking He so tends to hang out there a lot. Yeah, and he's probably like, eh, F sports, I'm not going to do this. Yeah, he's he's all kind of. I doubt of, he's gonna be there. Yeah, emo dudes don't really go to sporting events. I, I mean, I hate to spend so much time in the library, but if we're if we're trying to do something, mm -hmm. May is practically summer already. What? Yeah. Okay. It's too hot. <laughs> I think I'll rest in the li in the library, the library. <laughs> ah, much better. It's nice that the AC is on, but do we really need it? No birdies in here today. It's not on. What? It's you, Nageki. It's you, Miss McDovin. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, he called me by my name. Yeah, I think that means we're making progress, right? If, if he's calling us by our name. Yeah, maybe. They don't turn the air conditioning on until June. It just feels cold compared to outside. Oh. oh, is that it? Is that insulation working for us? It would be a little strange to start spending money to cool a barely used library in May. Anyway, aren't you going to participate in the festival, Nageki? Aren't you? Yep. <laughs> I don't like it outside. A, a bird after my own heart. Yeah, mine too. So I stay in here. That's all. Hmm, I see. I think I think Girl Boop likes the complicated ones. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> ellipses, ellipses, ellipses. <laughs> Why are you sitting next to me? Do you mind? Not really. Yeah! Yeah, he doesn't <laughs> mind us sit next to him. I can't believe I'm getting excited about, like, romancing a pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, listen, our class president got duped into being a cheerleader, and... Sorry. Yeah, like, he cares about cheerleader yeah, I know. stuff. No. Keep going. Oh. <laughs> That's how I spent the day telling him about the festival and whatnot while he read. I don't know how much he was... <laughs> it's just suddenly striking me how ridiculous this is. <laughs> I don't know how, how much he was listening to me, but he didn't seem to mind, I think. <laughs> uh, sometimes you just gotta take a step back and look at what you're doing. <laughs> the, <coughs> oh my god. The first barrier for all students who make it this, this far, the midterm exam. You know, thinking back on it, most of my comments and bird puns are just for people that are uncomfortable with game. I'm not uncomfortable with it. I just uh, just, just find it odd. Yeah, I find it odd too, but it's 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 good. It's entertaining. Yeah, I'm definitely I'm definitely comfortable, dude. I mean, trust me, dude. I've played. I seek out weird stuff to play, so I'm totally comfortable with it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I'm glad that you sense that I'm comfortable with it. <laughs> All right, so we're getting we're getting them back today. I don't think I did too well. McDovin. <laughs> yes. You worked hard. Keep going like that, and you'll do just fine. One day you could surpass me. I'd love to see that. I guess I did pretty well after all. What oh, I guess do? I guess I did pretty well after all. Well, what did I, you... the the midterm exam? Oh, see, I missed that. Yeah, I think I think <laughs> I we're getting why. we're getting our, our 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 grades back or something. Oh, okay. And Mr. Nanaki seems happy with me too. Yay! Uh oh, <laughs> I'm thinking student teacher romance. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe that worked out that way because I took the math class and got smarter. Maybe. Maybe. With the festival and midterm over, there's nothing to look forward to but summer heat. Doves smell... <laughs> Doves smell kind of funny when it gets humid like this. <laughs> huh? There's a bunch of birds in front of the staff room. What are they doing? Oh, there's Yuya. Yuya, what's going on? Salutations, girl boop. Brian won his seventh Pulitzer. <laughs> Who's Brian? <laughs> he gestures at a news clipping on the staff room pin board. It says, Brian, the first intelligent pigeon crowned again. <laughs> Brian? Don't tell me you don't know who he is. I think I've heard the name, but... He's the world's most famous blogger. He began when <laughs> birds barely... When, when birds were barely intelligent. Um, I think Methos Zemus is probably about to tell you, uh, tell us something that, that I'm about to tell you. Okay. There's a real blog. Yes. And it, it's been, yeah, it's been working for like five years, like, Me like Methos Zemus is saying. It's, it's actually real on the internet. Yeah, I've heard of it. I haven't checked it out, but I've heard yeah. about it. Yeah, they went, they went totally... They they're t they're totally like immersive on on the like the mythology of this game. Yeah, I like they, it. They went a little over the top. I like that. <laughs> yeah, I've done a little bit of research into it, but I tried to stay to a little far away from finding out any uh, concrete like narrative spoilers. Um, all right, he's he's a very skilled and insightful writer. He was the one who suggested that the Dove Olympics be called the Pidge Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's extremely influential. The name was adopted right away. Why don't you look him up right now, Monami? Try Googling Brian Pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh-oh. Lunch is nearly over. Adieu, girl boop. <laughs> I love our name. <laughs> yeah, we, we definitely came up with a good one. <laughs> girl boop McDovin. <laughs> hmm, today is a good day. I feel like I'm shining. What? <laughs> I wonder what I should do during break. Go to the... 
Uh, store? Yeah. I'd say store or cafeteria. I'm trying to stay away from the doctor because yeah. I don't want to get murdered or something. <laughs> store or cafeteria, which one? Um, store. We go to the store. I don't really need anything, but I think I'll go to the store. I've never really looked around there before. Wow, they've got all sorts of things for sale. Though these nest building materials look like what you'd find in a human store's trash. My, how mature of you, Monami. Planning to settle down already? Uh -oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 that's not it. I'm still a high school student. <laughs> that may be so. But you know we doves reach sexual maturity within a year of birth. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! They do? That seems a little hasty. That aside, what are you here to buy, Yuya? Your love, of course. Oh my god. <laughs> He's a little too forward. Yeah, we need, to, we, we need to kick this guy to the curb. My, I... I think I'd say my look. Oh, yeah. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, that's... We're not... I'm not good enough? Oh, well, I'll have to try again later. <laughs> so, by research, do you know what at BBL is? Um, no, I don't know what that is. <laughs> is this how he talks to every girl he meets? Oh, I think is this how he what talks what BBL to... is, not yeah. what at. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know what that is. Um, I think that's a little rude. You're being rude. <laughs> Too forward. I think that's a little rude, Yuya. What is? That sort of loose talk, like I'm a game or something. <laughs> you know, that's the first time a girl's ever said that to me. Yeah, I doubt that. Yeah. I'm surprised. Thank you, Monami. I'll carry this warning in my pigeon heart forever. Adieu. Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> oh, elective day. Elective day. Let's do charisma again. Music. Uh, music? Yeah, all right. We I should, mean, we, we should, should do gym, do gym class point. one of these days just to see what it's about. Yeah. We'll, we'll do music class. Yeah. Uh, between wisdom and charisma, charisma's lower. So, yeah. music class. We all have to stand up and sing solos today. Oh, I'm nervous. Yeah, and he's cooing a bunch. All right. Coo, coo. Coo, 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 coo. Oh, that was him singing. Okay. Yeah. Right. His voice is beautiful. <laughs> okay. I want Girl Boop to sing. Girl Boop leveled up. Charisma increased by five. Girl Boop should be like... Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> Today is Tenabata. There's probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year, too. I think I'll go make a wish. Living in a cave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, this is where they put the little yeah. tags, little pieces of paper up. Send them out. Yep. Wow, there's lots here already. Any birdie I know. Can you hear the song of the stars above? May they send you happiness, Monami Yuya. <laughs> oh my god, he's persistent. Um, that's probably, uh, what's his name, San? Yeah. Because he's weird and crazy. Yeah. That's my guess. Well, that's that's all the pudding on the thing, right? Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what yeah. I'm thinking. He walked around in pudding and, and, and then it stepped all on his, it. Yeah. <laughs> Morning conference on 10th. Leave 30 minutes early. Buy another alarm clock. May I wake up on time? Nanaki. <laughs> Wednesday is garbage day, remember. <laughs> it's pretty ing Englishy. What should I wish for? Conquer the world by force? Rule the world from the shadows? Become a famous artist? I wonder. I'm going to do the artist one. Yeah. Yeah, artist. I wish to become a famous artist who wor whose work is known the world over. Oh, hello. Is that you, McDovin? 
Mr. Nanaki. You should be careful out this late. You should be careful out this late. It can be dangerous for a girl, you know. It's dangerous to go alone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was about to head home. Would you like me to walk you to your place? Oh, snap. Mm. Pigeon snap. Mm. No. Maybe you should, though, because what if the doctor comes and gets you? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that doesn't mean that you're going to do anything. Yeah, if, <laughs> do if he, if he You're not going to start kissing him. If he starts getting too forward, I'll... I'll yeah, I'll don't let him get fresh. Send him packing. Yeah, I mean, that could happen. Like, the doctor yeah. could sneak up on us. I've heard bad things Here's about the that teacher. doctor. Yeah, you should be able to, to, you know, trust him, but who knows? Yes, please. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Mr. Nanaki demonstrated some extreme sleeping on the way home, but we arrived eventually. <laughs> oh my god. Your house is very rustic, McDovin. I like it this way. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful to have a place to come back to, isn't it? Wonderful indeed. He looks a little sad. Um, sir. See you tomorrow. Don't forget your homework. And so we left, a somewhat hollow-sounding farewell echoing behind him. Or was it just my imagination? Or was it the was fact it that I... Or was it the fact that I live inside a cave? Maybe that's where the echoes came from. Yeah, it could be. Today's an elective day. We should do the gym because we haven't done it yet. Okay. Gym class. A rock dove is wiggling about on the surface of the water, advancing neither forwards nor backwards. <laughs> you can't swim, Ryuta? Uh, I'm doing my best. I'm going to learn before I graduate. <laughs> Poor Ryuta. Girl boop leveled up. Vitality increased by five. By five, that's it? <laughs> we get a baseline of 800. I thought it would go up a little more. Yeah. I thought so, too. We get our finals back today. I'm not sure I did too well. McDovin. Sir? Well done. You've gotten even better. Keep up the good work. I, I can't, like, settle on a voice for this guy. Yeah. <laughs> it keeps changing. I'm not really doing voices. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, just going along as it as it feels right. Uh, yes, sir. Success. Senpai noticed me again. <laughs> <laughs> Today's the last day. It's been a semester already. Sometimes it seemed long, and sometimes it seemed short. But either way, it's summer now. It's Flacco now. <laughs> <laughs> I need to check all the assigned books before I go home. There will be a lot of students coming in to, mar in to borrow their summer. I thought they said tomorrow. To borrow their summer reading pretty soon. Oh, yeah. Today is the closing ceremony, so there are even fewer birds in here than usual. Am I the only one? Well, that just makes my job easier. Something tells me you're not the only one. Yeah. <laughs> she always thinks she's alone in the library, and she never is. Yeah, what the heck? But I'm probably not alone. I've seen this situation before. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Yeah. Nageki? No reply. Maybe he's not here. Oh, no. Are you here, Nage? <laughs> Please, be quiet in the library. Priest. Priest. <laughs> I can't believe you started the Cat Bun Wars. Burn no. Sign it. Sign it. <laughs> we just went off on a weird Yeah, it's tangent. a weird, perfect hair forever tangent there. <laughs> Hello! You're rather noisy today. Did you want something? Nope. I was just wondering if you were here. Of course. I'm always here. He replies from his corner in a somewhat annoyed tone of voice. Oh, the book he's holding. That's a signed reading this semester. Is it any good? Not really. I'm almost done with it. It forces its safe ethical viewpoint on the reader, like all assigned reading. That's not good. The whole concept is inane. Why force everyone to read the same books? 
It is pretty boring most of the time. Uh, what do you like to read? Huh? You volunteered to work here, so you must like books. I was wondering what you what to read next. So you want me to recommend something? How about some Ernest Klein, Ready Player One? <laughs> <laughs> he nods. What about... Let's read what this guy's saying. The thing that has happened on so many other streams is happening here. But I hope it doesn't happen. Then again, if it happens, it happens. <laughs> um, I feel like maybe I'm walking into... Uh, like I'm painting myself into some kind of corner. Could be. But you know what? That's we'll okay, see. man. I, I kind of have this philosophy uh, about like uh, reaching certain narratives in games like this and other games where if I do something wrong or if I do something that doesn't result in like the best possible outcome, it just becomes part of my story. And yeah. I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. Yeah, and you just live with it. Yeah. It's like if I accidentally kill like somebody in like Witcher 3 that I wasn't supposed to kill or something, I just let it happen. Yeah. It just becomes my personal story. I and then you. in my mind, like, Geralt, uh, you know, has to live with the consequence of having made that mistake. Mm-hmm. And I think it makes it richer, actually. It's a good way of looking at it. Yeah. All right, let's see. What do we want to uh, recommend? We got uh, Orahato. Hato is Japanese for pigeon. So I don't know what Ore means, but Orahato. Uh, maybe something like Of the Pigeon. <laughs> or Night on the Galactic Railroad. Something tells me he'd probably like something a little more insightful. So, probably wouldn't. So what does that mean to you? Or Hato. I don't or know. Hato. Night on the Galactic Railroad sounds a little adventurous. Yeah, but don't you think that someone like depressed and, li and living in like the doldrums of life would want something more adventurous? Maybe. He can like he can read Night on the Galactic Railroad while listening to Outrun music. <laughs> that sounds good to me. I'm gonna go with Night on the Galactic Railroad. All right. <clears throat> See how that goes over. Yeah. What about Night on the Galactic Railroad? I liked it. Too stereotypical. Mm -hmm. ah. He probably would have said something bad either way though. Probably, but you never know. Oh, sorry. You've already read it, I imagine. Yes. Though. I liked it too. Oh. Oh, good. Okay. Good. <laughs> and so I spent the afternoon working in the library, occasionally exchanging a word with Nageki. Time flows slowly by. This sort of thing is nice too. <laughs> it's easy to fall out of practice and get fat and lazy during summer vacation. <laughs> a hunter gatherer's body is her way of life. So maybe I'll go running today. My fears are quelled, for the most part. You know, I, I like this Methos Zemus guy, because he, he almost speaks like he's, he's like... In the game. In the game. <laughs> like he has a way of talking where he's like, like, he's like, he's like pulling his, his linguistic habits from the game itself. I like that. I appreciate the effort. <laughs> it's immersive. Yes. I almost whoa. feel... Whoa. Whoa. Ah. Whoa. I think maybe I'm having like flashbacks or a dream or something. Oh, oh that you're was the run. Those areas. Wow, she runs fast. <laughs> <laughs> a true running girl's way to start a vacation. I wonder how far I ran. I always lose track of where I'm going once the runner's high kicks in. <laughs> where am I? I must have wandered out of my usual stomping ground at some point. Fun fact. It's stamping ground. I knew you were going to say that. You knew I was going to say that. Yes, I did. It's stamping ground and not stomping ground. Which way did I come from? Don't fail me now, Paleolithic humming instinct. <laughs> oh my god. The sun's setting. I'd rather not sleep outside. Uh, or the cave. She's used to sleeping in a cave. I wonder what the problem is with sleeping outside. Hey, you. Hmm? Hmm? Hey, a new, a new guy. That <laughs> music really kicked in. Yeah, it did. He looks more like a finch. Yeah. Kind of looks like a zebra finch, actually. I'm digging this this music, man. 
All right, I don't know. You. I'm just listening to the music. Yeah, I don't know you're you, like you're almost like yeah. dancing to it. I'm like I'm I'm like headbanging. Tapping there. your feet. I feel like I should be fighting a boss in a JRPG or something. <laughs> Where'd you come from? A sparrow. Oh, he's a sparrow. Okay. Sp stands next to me, squinting up at my face. <laughs> Her wing. <laughs> okay. Her wing is resting on a motor scooter. It says blaster on it. Yeah. Reminds me of a. Uh... What was that movie? Uh... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it looks a little bit vintage. How cute. I feel a strange pressure. I can tell right away that the sparrow isn't just any birdie. Yeah, this is a this is a chick. Uh, yeah, I I'm noticed. Gathering, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm from St. Pigeon Nations. I was out for a run and got lost. You ran all the way from there? You must be good. It's about a two hour drive from here. Oh my god. Wow, jeez. <laughs> jeez. Holy How, crap. Well, she is a fast runner, remember? She is a hunter-gatherer. Yeah. <laughs> After all. What? I guess that's why my legs hurt. <laughs> literally <laughs> yeah, literally a chick. A chick. Uh, I wonder if I'll be able to run home again. Maybe I can hop a ride on a scooter. Hmm. I like the cut of your jib. <laughs> Anyone that determined deserves a ride home. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> the intimidating sparrow gesture, gestures at her scooter. It's this is going to drive me nuts. What was that movie? It was from a manga. There were two chicks, and they were buddies, and one of them was into, uh... like... Lolita fashion, and the other one was on. Was in a biker gang on the yeah. scooter. That wasn't. Uh, that was such a good movie. The Kamikaze Girls. Kamikaze Girls. Kamikaze That's Girls. Yeah. This is the the Kamikaze Girl. Chick. <laughs> yeah, it's a little small, in bird but, form. <laughs> but we should both fit, I think. Thank you. Uh, may I ask your name? Koshiba Azami. I sell takoyaki. Call me Azami. Then thank you, Azami. <laughs> You're a very cautious driver. Carve it into your soul, kid. Oh my god. I've heard I've heard that uh, that that quote from this game, carve it into your soul. It's like a it, it's like a it's like a meme from this game. Yeah, see even <laughs> yep. Nico Zemus is digging it. Mm-hmm. One accident is all it would take, and that would be the end of both our lives. This is true. This like that's the epic shot right there with the moon and the stars and <laughs> looking up at this majestic creature. <laughs> it may seem strange to a young girl like you, but once you've lost someone, you'll understand. Aww. Oh, sad history with the zombie. There's a far off look in her eyes. Yeah. I'm sure you know what you're talking about, but at this rate I might get home faster by walking. <laughs> Do you think we'll get there by dawn? Carve it into your soul. <laughs> oh my god. This chick is awesome. I, I like the I like the, the, <laughs> the weirdness of this chick, but also the depth. The depth of character. <laughs> the speed limit for scooters is 30 kilometers per hour. We're not even going that fast. That was you. Oh yeah, we're not even going that fast. Or we're not even going that fast. I don't know where the where the the highlight of the sentence. Yeah, like be. where we push up at the emphasis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Following traffic laws is part of my credo. <laughs> Isn't riding tandem against the law too? Uh oh. That rule is for humans. <laughs> Birds are late, so one or two more doesn't stop the brakes from working. <laughs> <laughs> We're fine like this. But I'm not a bird. And so we putted along at a zombie's hyper cautious speed. By the time we got to my house, it was almost light out. Wow, out all night, man. Mm-hmm. Having still, a gay old time yeah. with the uh, zombie. It's still a long time until the semester starts, and I still have a lot of homework. Maybe I should apply for a part-time job, since I have the chance. I'll... Let's get a job. Move, move the narrative forward. Yeah. Get a job here. Get a haircut and get a real job. I think I saw a flyer at the station hiring high school students over the summer. What station? I don't know. 
got to be careful saying that S word. Yeah. And the console thinks we're talking to it. It was the cafe, right? It's beautiful in here. Oh my. Pardon me, miss, but we're Aww. not open yet. I say, aww. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cute birdie. If you could come back at noon. Oh, sorry. I was here to ask about the job. The proprietor of the cafe is an extremely elegant parakeet. A true gentle bird, without a doubt. This must be what people mean when they refer to a mature attractiveness. <laughs> All the students at high school are young and hyper, and the the most and the the most dignified <laughs> birds there are the teachers. <laughs> oh, is that right? Forgive me. I am called Uru Shihara Kenzaburu. I am the owner of Tarimi Cafe. I'm McDevin Girl Boop. <laughs> Welcome, Miss Girl Boop. I hadn't expected a human. Um, are you going to interview me? I could cook circles around this bird. <laughs> I do not see any need to test such a wonderful young lady's desire to work here. And I believe you. Oh, and I believe you will be much more capable than I at moving the boxes of coffee and tea about. I bet. I'll be glad to. After all, I am a vitality girl. <laughs> what? Sometimes I think I'm like, my brain is breaking and I'm reading the sentences wrong and then it turns out that I'm not. <laughs> I shall be relying on you for this summer then, Miss Girl Boop. It is perhaps a little sudden, but could you start tomorrow? Absolutely. Of course. <laughs> I should truly admit... I had not expected you to get that name correct. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Methos Zemus. I try. I am glad I shall be waiting for you here in my cage. I watch a lot of anime, so I'm used to this kind of thing. <laughs> I read a lot of manga. <laughs> tomorrow. Okay, that's a door. Yeah, tomorrow then, Miss Girl Boop. Tomorrow, start a new job at the cafe. I, I read a lot of manga. <laughs> <laughs> Today's my first day working at Mr. Now I'm going to mess it up. <laughs> Mr. Urushihara's cafe. I think I'll leave early to make a good impression. That's how you do it. That's how you make that bread. <laughs> good morning, Miss Girl Boo. <laughs> good morning, sir. Let me start by showing you where everything is. I'm sure you'll be able to remember everything soon, so please ask if you can't find something. He shows me around the cafe, explaining everything inside. The shop is small, and he keeps everything very tidy, so I'll be able to remember it all. Well then, what do you think? It's very nice. I almost want to move in. It's better than living in a cave. <laughs> That's for sure. Come now, it's far too plain for a young lady such as yourself. Actually, <laughs> see, we're, we're like one step ahead of the narrative. Yeah, I know. Actually, compared to my house, excuse me. Oh, oh it's Ryuta. Um, I saw the flyer at the station and... Ryuta, girl boop, what are you doing here? <laughs> Uh-oh, he's going to be mad because you got yeah. the job. A friend of yours, Miss Girl Boop? Oh, yes, this is Ryuta. You came for the job too, Ryuta? Yeah, I saw that it starts at noon, so I thought I could fit it in after my other job. But if you've already got the position, then that's that. Um, Mr. Urushihara, could you use two people? Hmm. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. Yeah, I remember yeah. that he's taking care of him by himself. Hmm, Her. sadly, my cage is too small to have that much work to do. Oh. Hmm, I should... See, Methos Zemus is doing it right. He's, like, reminding us of something that already happened so that I don't yeah. make a mistake. That's good. That's a good way to do it. Thank you. Um... 
I probably would have given the job to him anyway because I have like I have no real life stake in this. Like if yeah. I if I give up the job, I'm not going to lose money in real life. Yeah. So I'll just be nice and let him have the job. Yeah. Mr. Urushihara, do you think you could take Ryuta instead of me? Girl boop. I don't see why not, but... See, now he can't move those boxes of coffee and tea around, though. He needed my, my <laughs> hunter-gatherer strength to be able yeah. to do that. I don't really need, need the uh, job, but, <laughs> Ry but Ryuta does. Don't worry, he's a hard worker. I almost like that there's typos in here because it makes it more Englishy. Yeah. I, I like that. Are you sure, girl boop? It's not really fair to you. I do feel a little bad leaving on my first day, too, but... Ryuta works several jobs every summer to support his mother. Mr. Arushihara is a real gentle bird, and Ryuta deserves to be treated nicely. This is for the best. I know you'll do a good job, Ryuta. I... Thanks, girl boop. <laughs> Thanks, girl boop. Thanks. Thanks. Carve it into your soul. <laughs> well then, our encounter has been as transient as a comet's tail on the horizon. But I'm glad I've met you. <laughs> Please do stop by. I will always be here, Miss Girl Boop. I will. Thank you, Mr. Arushihara. Um, today's the local summer festival. I think I'll go with some birdie. Invite. Hmm. I mean, Nageki's always hanging around in the library, and we're trying to romance him, right? Yeah. But I wonder if he'd hate being outside. Yeah. Hmm. It's a tough call. Like, if I invite him, and it goes well, it could get us closer to him. But if I invite him and he hates it, it could get us further away from him. Maybe, but it could, it, you know, like you're saying, it could make him know that you're interested. Yeah. Maybe we'll maybe we'll go with it because he 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 can say no. Yeah. I mean, he could be like, you know, he could say no, and then that could spare him the, uh, you know, having to walk around in the heat for hours. Mm -hmm. Look, he said. By the way, I noticed your spoon in the corner. <laughs> you have a spoon. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I got a little spoon. That's funny. <laughs> All right, yeah, we'll go with Nageki, I, I think. Yeah, I, I think that could be good. I'll invite Nageki. He needs to get out more. I hope she doesn't get too pushy with it, though. Yeah. But I don't know his address or phone number. I'd go look in the library if the school weren't already closed. Now that I think about it, I only know him as the depressed freshman who's always in the library. I'd like to learn more about him, though. He'd probably never tell me anything if I asked. Uh, going out is too much trouble. I think I'll have some udon and go to bed. Oh, jeez. <laughs> much ado about nothing. Today is my day as receptionist. There's no birdie here, as usual. Maybe I should work on the newspaper. <laughs> best, best day, day ever. ever. <laughs> Nageki? Yes. Yes. Do you have a minute? What is it? Want to write a book review? Oh, here's our in. Mm -hmm. This is our in. I'm working on the library newspaper, and there's a corner open, so I thought, can't you write one yourself? I'm always writing them. We never get submissions, so the book reviews are just turning into our personal soapbox. Yeah, it's not so bad either. I wouldn't mind having a personal soapbox. <laughs> Perhaps it would be better to remove them from the paper. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. I'd like to see how you'd write one, though. It doesn't have to be very long, either. I'll write one later. Leave the paper there. <laughs> Yay! Thank Yay! you! Yay! All right! All right! <laughs> <laughs> I think that's everything for the September issue. Wee! <laughs> when you were a kid and you, you want to go, go wee! wee. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, I knew I should have gotten up when I first woke up. What? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I slept way too late. School starts today, right? I'm gonna be late. Oh, well, she is. Oh, hello, McDevin. Sir, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I overslept. Overslept? Uh, that shouldn't bother him much. He's the... Uh, yeah, the, he sleeps all the time. Yeah, he's the n narcoleptic. Yeah. Ah, my homework. I forgot to bring my homework. Oh, no. Aren't you getting a little bit ahead of yourself, McDovin? Huh? What's the number in the top left-hand corner say? August 30th, right? Yeah. Or one hour and 20 minutes and 24 seconds. <laughs> oh. You're just a little bit early. What? Though, since you're here, could you lend me a hand for a bit? They should. I guess. I guess school doesn't start until. They should have used that opportunity to, for another pun. Could you lend me a wing for a bit, McDevin? Eh, uh, not really a pun. No. Nah. Bad joke. Bad joke. Lend you a hand. I was about to start grading the freshmen's exams, and I thought maybe you could help if you don't have something else. Of course. You have a test in September, so if you want to go uh, go and study in the library. Study in the library. Uh, yeah, study in the library. Can I return to my glorious abode? Library. Mm-hmm. The library should be open now. I think I'll go study. Um, I'm sorry, sir, but I'm not sure I've prepared enough for my tests. I'd like to go study if it's all right. All right. Of course. Work hard, okay? Do your best. Hey, Ducky, do your best. <laughs> there are already a number <laughs> of students working in the library. Looks like mostly third years. They've probably all decided on their colleges and careers already. Will I be that frantic this time next year, I wonder? What? Someone from Metal Gear Solid just noticed us. <laughs> Nageki's here, too, leaning against a bookshelf in a far corner. Nageki! Miss McDovin, did you need something? Why are you over here? There are still plenty of seats open. You should sit down. I don't mind standing. He just doesn't want to be by the other students. Yeah, he's a, he's a social outcast. <laughs> yep, I've been spotted. You, you know <laughs> what I'm talking about. You're picking up what I'm putting down. <laughs> you look like you mind. You don't like being near other birds, is that it? I read that weird. Yeah. That's I'm kind of right. I'm starting to get like my brain is starting to like, I don't know, Melt. freeze up or something. <laughs> you don't like being near other birds, is that it? Is that the ticket? He nods. They'll just they'll just ignore me anyway, whether or not I go near. Nageki, are you being Mm. Bullied. Mm. You don't want to see paranoid because maybe he's being bullied. Yeah. See, if I say he, if I, if I ask him if he's being paranoid, he could get offended. Yeah, that could. If be I ask him if rude. he's being bullied, I may not be right, but he wouldn't be offended. Yeah. He'd just be like, "No, that's not it." About two thirds of the way through the game, maybe I'll just finish the whole thing. Yeah, I'm down. I mean, I was trying to go for about two hours anyway. Are you being bullied? He falls silent. Aww. Yeah. If there's something wrong, I'd like to help. Um, good morning, everyone. I hope you had fun over the summer. <laughs> <laughs> Okasan is always having fun with pudding. <laughs> yep, yep. Yep, yep. I think this guy's like a Brooklyn pigeon, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like a Brooklyn pigeon. <laughs> what is this fun you speak of, you <laughs> imbeciles, you Philistines? <laughs> <laughs> Once summer's over, time starts slipping by faster than ever. Try to stay focused. Focused. Zzz. 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 Falls asleep. <laughs> Focus, sir, focus! Second term, the most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon. By the pigeon, for the pigeon. That's a hardcore looking pigeon. Yeah. Alright. Huh? Is that? 
a student ID? Whose is it? Someone from 2-2? Not a name I recognize. Should I go find their classroom? They might already have gone home, though. Well, any teacher will do, right? Sir! Sir! <laughs> oh? Hello, girl boop. Did you forget to turn in your homework? I found someone's ID card, sir. That's someone from 2-2. I thought I should take it here. Oh? Thank you, girl boop. I can take care of it. Huh? What is it? Nothing, just... You did find this today, right, McDovin? Yeah, in the corridor outside, you know. This student, you know. <laughs> you know, it's, it's out there. <laughs> <laughs> it's out there, I found it. <laughs> this, yeah, I'm getting a little loopy. <laughs> Reading this game so much is hurt or my brain or something. <laughs> this student has been absent since the middle of June. How strange. So then, was the card lying there all summer? No birdie noticed it? It's awfully clean, though. Shouldn't it at least be dusty? He's got, got our uh, Detective uh, McDovin on the case here. <laughs> anyway, I'll take care of it. Thank you, McDovin. All right, let's see. What do we want to do here? Wisdom. Yeah, we got to get our wisdom up, man. We're, we're slacking. So math class. Math class. I had hoped for something a little more interesting from an elective, but this is dull. So you're dull. <laughs> I can just barely keep up, even though Mr. Nanaki explains everything so clearly. So this is all easy for you, Sakia? Wow. Are you trying to curry favor with me? <laughs> 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 Too spooky five me. <laughs> he looks happy, though. I keep forgetting that dude's a guy. <laughs> like all the he's plumage. He's so fancy. He's so fa fancy with all that plumage. Girl boop leveled up. Wisdom increased by five. Whoa. Whoa. What? The feathers are flying. <laughs> the feathers are flying. <laughs> what the heck is going on? The classroom is filled with a cloud of dancing feathers. There was a fight. Did somebody eviscerate a down pillow or something? <laughs> Ryuta, what? Maybe they didn't clean up properly yesterday. What? It's malting season, so... Oh, okay. Oh, I yeah, I got you. I got you. Well, one little breeze, and it looks like this, unless we make sure to keep everything clean. Now that I look closely, Ryuta's head feathers are looking a little loose, too. Yeah, he's going bald. <laughs> I guess every birdie's growing themselves new outfits. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Feathers like yeah, in his face. I kind of thought it was like a big growth on his cheek or something. <laughs> it's the it's the elephant bird. Oh my god. <laughs> Sir, can we clean up a little before homeroom? Cleaning in the morning? This atmosphere is quite distracting. Who was supposed to clean yesterday? Okasan! <laughs> <laughs> Wretched mongrel, can't you even fulfill the duty given to you? <laughs> I like the voice you have for him. Yeah, Perfect. I should be like an anime voice actor. I'd love it, dude. I'd have so I'd be like the like so bad it's good. So of, bad it's good. Yeah, yeah, like like the kind of like voiceover dubs you get in like the eighties. Yeah. Come on, arguing won't solve anything. It'll be easy if we all pitch in. Yeah. And so we swabbed the room down before homeroom. This is a lot of feathers. Not enough for a futon. <laughs> but I bet we could make a nice pillow. It certainly is more than usual. Did they come in the window, perhaps? Like that infamous Beatles song? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> Sir, um, did you spill some chlorine on yourself? What? Chlorine? <laughs> we don't use that kind of detergent. 
But, um, you really smell like it. Oh, that would be the bleach. What? Bleach? B bleach Sir, are you one of those degenerates who bathes with bleach powder? Degenerates? No, no, no. I dozed off and got stuck in the washing machine last night, that's all. <laughs> you know, it's how we do. That's dangerous. Sir, please be careful. Hmm, yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> I guess there wasn't any... a little snore Yeah, like my little snore. I guess there wasn't any way he was going to stay awake after helping us clean the room. Yeah, I've been there. I know that feel. <laughs> Today's the school festival. Our class decided to do a maid cafe. I'm not scheduled to work until tomorrow, so I have today off. I don't have anything to do, so I guess I'll look around. Hmm. I wonder if Nageki's in the library today. Probably. Yeah, the game knows. <laughs> yeah, the game knows. The game knows what's up. That what we're trying to do. Mm-hmm. I think I'll go buy something and hang out with them. It's like I don't even have to select Nageki from a list anymore. It's just automatic. Yeah. Yup. Door's open. Nageki? Close it, please. See, he didn't, he didn't hide from us this time. No, he didn't. Yeah. I, I think we're making progress. I hope so. <laughs> I knew you'd be here. I hope you're making progress with this bird. The door. <laughs> it's loud outside. Oh, sorry. You're staying in here even today? It's almost like this is where you live. Is there something wrong with that? Of course not. You're kind of like a friendly ghost or something. What? It's reassuring to know you're here. Anyway, I brought you something. You're planning to stay here all day, right? What did... Cookies? <laughs> yep. The bird watching club was selling bird-shaped cookies. How meta. I know, right? Aren't they cute? Have some. Hmm. Thanks. Hearing him thank me makes me very happy, even if it was in a whisper. He even looks a little happier than usual. Yeah, we done we done good. We done good. <laughs> <laughs> There's lots of other stuff too. The third years are doing a play and one class put together a god tier haunted house. <laughs> what? A god tier. Like a super haunted house. <laughs> I was thinking of looking around a little more. Nageki, you wanna come with me? No. Aww. Oh, no, he looks angry. I... Uh, no, thank you. Go ahead if you want. See how I'm acting? Mm-hmm, I do. I'm acting. Acting. It's not enough to just read the, the text. You gotta act. <laughs> well, all right. Sorry, I didn't mean to try to drag you out of here. Actually, I did mean to try to do that. <laughs> I think he might actually live in here. Yeah, you live in a cave, so, like, don't judge. Yeah, people in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Yeah. People people in stone cave houses shouldn't throw Pe stones. People in glass houses shouldn't throw cave stones. <laughs> now that I think about it, I've never seen him anywhere else. Maybe he comes straight here as soon as he gets to school. Midterms are right around the corner. Arg! I got too excited for the festival and didn't study at all. I happen to be a thespian myself. I quite enjoy the practices of drama. <laughs> I like this mythos guy. I'm really hey, glad you came into my stream. You're a cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to study it. Huh? Where's my history textbook? It's not on my desk. Oh, I was reading in the library during lunch, so maybe it's still there. I'll go look. Sir? Welcome back, McDovin. Where are you going? I think I left something in the library. Do you know if the door is still open? Um, some birdie brought the key to the staff room a few minutes ago, so I think it's locked now. I'll go there first then. Thank you, sir. I was sitting over there. Here it is. Yay! Oh, <laughs> some birdie's written <laughs> on the page I left open. The Congress dances, but does not progress. Well, that's funny. But don't write on people's books. <laughs> don't leave books lying around with their pages to the four winds. <laughs> Uh-oh. Nageki. He vandalized my book. You stole my stories. You stole my stories <laughs> by vandalizing my book. 
What? Why are you su surprised? I hadn't thought you'd still be here. What, she didn't think he'd be in the library? I know, right? Why not? The door was locked. Don't tell me they locked you in. That would be terrible. How terrible. It was? I hadn't realized. Well, if it was an accident, then it's all right, maybe. I'm, I feel like I'm being too happy with this guy's voice. <laughs> Jeez, you're supposed to make sure there's no birdie left inside before you lock the door. Anyway, I need to lock the door again. I should... Hmm. Go home with Nageki. Yeah. Let's do this. I mean, this is what we've been working towards, right? <laughs> yeah. Go home with Nageki. Hey, Nageki, let's go home together. Mm, no, thank you. He didn't even pause to think about it. Aww. Oh, because this is his home. He's homeless. Yeah. Oh. Where That'd do you sad. live? Where do you live? I'll walk you. I'm fine, really. Don't worry about me. But you know what? This could be another inn where we, like, comfort him, right? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. You always get mad when I suggest you go outside. Oh, maybe he's agoraphobic. Oh. Oh. Maybe. <laughs> I hope hmm. not, but if he is... Don't jump to... If I could, I'd... What? Don't worry about it. I'll lock the door, so just leave the key there. He's already reading again. I think I'm annoying him. Who knows? Hmm. Ah, my grades aren't looking very good. I need to work harder to recover before finals. And so I sat, sat studying in the library. Well, one by one, the other students filed out to go home. When I look up, I'm alone. Or not. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> My, how unusual. I think this is the first time you sat down next to me, Nageki. I want to talk to you. <gasps> you're nothing but surprises today. I'll leave you alone if you're busy. No, no, talk away. I was shocked when you first came and talked to me, Miss McDovin. You're the only one who didn't ignore me. No one but you has ever talked to me. That's why this is the only place for me. That's terrible. Nageki, that's awful. Which class are you in? I'll, I'll talk to our teacher. I'm not done talking yet. Sorry, go on. You think I'm being bullied, right? I thought that too. You're not? I don't think so, no. Being bullied might be better than this. Mm. Better than this? Then what is he? I'm not sure yet, though. When you talk to me, I remember things sometimes, but it's still not enough. What? <laughs> Maybe he's amnesic. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't understand. What do you mean? Miss McDovin, I, I think I'm... McDovin, you're here late. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Sir. Damn it, Kazuaki. <laughs> The school's already starting to close for the night. It's good to study, but working too hard on your own for too long can backfire on you. Lock the door and head home soon, okay? On my own? Sir, what are you talking about? I'm not... Oh, huh? Nageki's gone. He was here just a moment ago. Where'd he go? Did he leap out the window and go home ninja style? Oh my god. <laughs> ninja style. Ninja style. We got our finals back today. Between midterms and practice exams, this whole semester has been nothing but tests. McDovin! Sir, you're getting better. Keep it up. Yes, sir. Man, my throat is getting parched here. I'm gonna sip a Coke. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> Closing time already. I don't really have any reason to be here again until the semester starts up. Oh no, it's snowing. Well, that's not good for birds. No. It was clear when I left. Crossing the wilderness to get to my house in a blizzard, I'd be risking my life. You're still here? Nageki! Nageki! Nageki-san! <laughs> that's so cute! 
Nageki-san. A book <laughs> under his arm, the same as always. Wait, his arm? <laughs> I do wonder about last time, but if he wants to talk, then he'll talk to me. For now, I won't bring it up. I was about to go home, but... Snow? Hmm. I guess I'll have to wait until it stops. He makes a noise of agreement and sits down next to me with his book. He's been a little distant lately, but maybe he's warming up to me in his own way. What are you reading? Dickens. A Christmas Carol. <laughs> you sound so sad. <laughs> oh, it's Christmas Eve today, isn't it? Please, keep quiet in the library. Oh my god. Yeah, we're back to square one with this guy. Sorry. I completely forgot. I guess this makes it a white Christmas. More like a whiteout Christmas, if you ask me. So grumpy. What a Debbie Downer. <laughs> Looks like you're almost finished. Yep. I just got to the part where Tiny Tim dies. Oh my god. And Scrooge god. sees his own grave. Wow. So sad. So emo. That sounds like a depressing story. You haven't read it? Even though you work here? I'm Buddhist, so Christmas stuff has never been... <laughs> oh my god. Tim is a boy born weak who dies young. The protagonist, Scrooge, sees that that will happen and tries to prevent it. Time travel? I thought it was a classic, but it sounds kind of science fiction-y. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. It's not really the focus of the book, though. I'd like to see the future. It would be nice being able to avoid getting into trouble. I wouldn't like it. <laughs> no? The future is what it is. It is what it is, and that's all there is to it. <laughs> and so we enjoyed the present point in time along which we flowed. This is a nice way to spend Christmas, I think. So the sequel is a Christmas spin-off. If I, oh. if if I if I'm right about that, I think it's like a Christmas spin-off. Uh, the sun, its majestic brilliance, sweeps across the land, lighting it into incandescent glory. Wow, that was quite lovely of a sentence. Yeah. It's the first day of the new year. Looks like I'm still alive to enjoy it. Indeed. <laughs> yep, holiday star, yep. Ah. Yeah, saw that on uh, on the old internet there. It's a little cold out, but it's calm and the sun is warm. I think I'll go visit the shrine. There are a lot of birds here today. It must be nice to have warm winter plumage. Maybe I should borrow some from some birdie. What? I think I'll buy an amulet and go home. Girl boop! Oh, she's she's got like a like a flower in the in the head there. In the head. <laughs> hmm. Happy New Year. Here's to many happy returns, right? What are you doing, Rita? Exactly what it looks like. I'm working here today and tomorrow. Oh, it, it looks good on you. Working does. <laughs> <laughs> you came here to buy an amulet, right? Which would you like? Hmm. I'd like one for... Fulfillment and Art, School, Conquest. Well, we did put that uh, that thing up at that festival to wish to become an artist. So That's how true. About the, how about the art one? Sounds good. Yeah. Here you go. Thanks, Ryuta. Are you here all day today? Yep. The first day is always busy. Oh, well, I was going to ask if you wanted to get lunch together, but... Sorry, girl boop. Maybe some other time. <laughs> Since you're here, why not go get a fortune? They're next to the main building. Over there. Okay, thanks. See you, Ryuta. Hmm. Mr. Nanaki, Happy New Year. Oh, hello, McDevin. Happy New Year. 
<laughs> yeah, and this might be one of the the most uh, commented episodes I've ever had. But I I thoroughly appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you for uh, uh, interacting with me, so I can interact with you. Yeah. Thanks for participating. Yes. Hello, McDovin. Happy New Year. Did you get a fortune, sir? Yes, unfortunately. I seem to have drawn the chicken of ill omen. Why don't you take one? I will. Hmm, what should I take? This one. <laughs> oh, that is an angry looking bird. Yeah. <laughs> Good. You got a better one than I did. I think this will be a good year for you, McDevin. Thank you, sir. Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you all had good vacations. I hibernated. I bet he did. Yep. What a shocker. <laughs> what a shocker. Losers Club. Losers Club. <laughs> <laughs> And he's asleep. <laughs> You're still hibernating, sir. Wake up. Oh? Um, I've said this before, but your junior year will be over before you know it. Let's enjoy this time while it lasts. There's nothing special this semester. Nothing to worry about. Hey, uh, Methos Zemus, how much time do you think is left in the game here? Just, uh, just wondering, because my throat is getting kind of parched. <laughs> <laughs> it's still light out, so maybe I'll go somewhere before I head home. Second to last scene incoming. Okay, good, thanks. So we're, we're almost there. Yeah. Oh, tomorrow is Legumentines. Legumentines. Is that is it like Valentine's where you give peanuts to each other? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I think oh, the, oh, it's the bean thing. The bean thing that this guy was talking about. Oh, I want to know. Today. Just for uh, him. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> all right, tell me the bean. Tell me the bean thing for uh, the library guy. What's was his it name? Nageki. N Nageki. Yeah. Tell me the bean for Nageki. Today, Legumentines is a holiday where you give beans to the boy you like, but apparently it used to involve throwing them at pigeons. Disgraceful! Country millet. Ah. Okay, I'll be able to remember that. Good evening. Here for beans? Here for beans? <laughs> yes, is there a kind you think is particularly good? This year's trend is towards these bean medleys for racers, but they are a little pricey. It's hard to say without knowing the bird in question, really. Hmm, that's true. Sometimes the cheap ramen tastes better than the expensive stuff. That is true, sometimes. Yeah, it is. I think I'll buy uh, Country Millet. Right. Here we go. They are very random, and you would never guess, so some of them. Okay. Country I get one. that. I'll take these. Thank you, miss. Here you are. Today's the day. The preparations are complete. Time to give the beans to that special sunbirdie. <laughs> <laughs> Almost empty, as always. And unsurprisingly, the heating doesn't work well here, so the winter cold will stick around well through February. <laughs> the, per the pervading chill has earned the library the dubious honor of being one of the school's least popular places in winter. The few students here are huddled around the heater, so Nageki should be... There you are, Nageki. Sitting in a frigid corner far from the meager effects of the heater, as expected. Please be quiet in the library. Uh, we're finishing each other's sentences now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you somehow forgive my dreadful sin? Brr, it's cold in here. Are you okay, Nageki? I am fine. Don't mind me, Miss McDuffin. Feel free to go sit by the heater if you're cold. 
nope, I'm fine. My house doesn't have a heater at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or anyway, electricity or yeah. anything else. Anyway, I have something to give you. It's leguminetines. Leguminetines, you know. <laughs> it's a hard word. Here, foxtail millet. I thought it was country millet. I guess it's the same thing. I guess so. For me? And oh, it's Peter. For me? <laughs> country millet? For me? <laughs> <laughs> yep, you're supposed to give beans to the most important bird in your life today. Do you want them? Yes. Thank you. He looks happier than usual. Or is it my imagination? Was it just imagination? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be singing that all night. <laughs> I often ate these when I was younger. This brings back memories. Aw, how sweet. Thank you, Miss McDuffin. You're welcome, Nageki. Do you want my beans? <laughs> <laughs> We're getting a little nuts here. <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it happens. Lots of requested books are going going to come in today. I'll have to work through lunch. Ah, sorting all these takes forever. I think I'll just have the encyclopedias to do before I'm done. Huh? There's a note on the help desk counter. Um, Miss McDovin, be here after the other students have all left. Fujishiro Nageki. Ah. It reads like a challenge to a samurai duel. How fitting. <laughs> I think this is the first time he's approached me. I wonder what it's all about. Actually, it's not the first time he's approached me, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she said it feels like it. Yeah, okay. Nageki, are you here? Nageki? V ver here. Oh, what? he's saying over here. Nageki. Yeah. I hope he's not hurt. Hello, Miss McDevin. You startled me. How long have you been standing there? Uh, by the way, if you get the final choice wrong, you'll instantly fail. There's no way I couldn't mention that. Okay. That's good. Don't tell me what the right answer is. Um, I'm okay with making the wrong choice. I think we've had a good time up to this point. Mm -hmm. And if I make the wrong choice, that's okay. True. I'll just get it right next time. Yeah. Let's hope for the best. Yeah. Let's hope for the best. You startled me. Oh, you've been standing there. From the very beginning. So, what did you need? <laughs> he's like, okay. Okay. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's probably sitting there really nervous, hoping I make the right choice. I want to talk with you, Miss McDevin. Talk with me? Continue our conversation. We were talking about bullying, I think. Okay. I'm all ears, Nageki. I'm not sure where to start. I've noticed a lot since we last spoke together. Miss McDovin? Hmm? Let's go outside. Oh! What? what? But he hates going outside. Come on. Sounds like more of a more of an enthusiastic come on than a come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. He stands up and walks over to the door. I follow, agitated. You first. He's gonna like kick me and lock me out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why does he want to go out all of a sudden? I should be happy, but Huh? What's wrong? You said you wanted to come out here. Oh, that's me. What's wrong? He said you wanted to come out here. He says in the door we're pushing against open air. <gasps> what are you doing? Mime. <laughs> Mime? Like, you know, like he's miming? Yeah. <laughs> Watch. He walks back a little ways into the library and then runs forward, crashing into the air. Nageki. He's trapped in there. What? Thud. <gasps> He bounces off the invisible wall and falls back into the library. That's too good to be a mime act. As I thought, I can't leave. Oh, he's a... I know what... I know what's going on here. I think I know what's going on here, too. I'm not going to say it. Okay, yeah, don't say it. 
I thought this for a while. Methos Zenos don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> what? I can't leave this room. I wake up in this library. After a while, I lose consciousness and wake up here again. And so it repeats. I said I'd come to understand the truth by talking to you, Miss McDovin. You've probably noticed, too, why no one else talks to me. That's because... They can't see him. Yeah. You're I'm quiet. Feeling, That's just, no. I'm feeling like like they can't see him. Yeah, for reasons. The, yeah. For, <laughs> for reasons. For, for reasons. I'm going with they can't see you. I hope this is right, Methos, Z Methos Zemus. I'm the only one who can see you? Probably. I forgot why I was here. How I came to be stuck in this place. Mm -hmm. I've been alone for, here for years with no one to talk to. For years? My sense of time is broken. I cannot feel or remember its passage. Oh my gosh. I've seen at least five school festivals go by. But then you came and talked to me. I had had no partner but myself for so long. And suddenly, you wouldn't leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> As I talked to you, I finally remembered why I can't leave. Mm -hmm. I killed myself in this room. Oh, I knew it. He's a good, 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 good yeah. ghost. You see how his how his character image is slowly starting to fade too. Yeah, he's becoming like uh, transparent. Yeah. That's sad. And so here I stay. My clock broke here. Its hands turning meaninglessly. Each day the same as the last. Alone, forever. Forever alone. No one is bullying me or ignoring me. I'm not here to begin with. I have no regrets. It was my choice to end my life here after all. But I think I will miss you, Miss McDovin. If I wasn't like this, I would. I would have liked to talk to you more for longer. <laughs> Nageki. I wrap my arms around him. I can feel him softly, but he's cold. <laughs> <laughs> at first. <laughs> oh my god. At first, sitting here alone was painful. But I grew numb over time. I ceased to feel pain. You're so quiet. That feeling I thought I had lost came back because of you. <laughs> I'll talk to you enough to make up for everyone else, Nageki. Maybe one day you'll be able to leave. No. Why not? As I talked to you, I changed. I didn't notice until just recently. When you told me about this school, I was probably trying to take back the time I was never able to spend here. I never asked you to, but you relentlessly told me everything that was going on here. <laughs> I already feel like I've spent a full year at this school. And now it's over. I think the clock's hands are going to stop soon. Nageki! It's fading more and more. Yeah. yeah. His head is right next to mine, but his voice sounds muffled and distant. When I look down, his feet are already disappearing. Nageki, wait! We've... we've never talked like this before. I don't want this to be the last time. Don't cry, Miss McDovin. I'm already long gone. There's no one here to mourn. But... Uh, there's just one more thing I need to tell you before I go. The thing that I noticed. The secret that stopped my clock. No, don't say it, Nageki. I... 
As I filled up, I grew closer to disappearing. You're the one who's made me disappear, Miss McDovin. I can't stop it now. But I still have so many things to tell you. You've already given me more than enough. I'm satisfied. The secret. Thank you. I love you. Wow. <laughs> that was great. That was pretty hardcore. That was amazing. And I did some pretty good acting, too. You did some epic acting, Peyton. Um, I, I want to I be a, a voice actor for anime. No, I do. I want to do that. I want to do that. <laughs> I want to, to do that. You want to, to do I that? I want to, to do that. I do. <laughs> that was great. That was pretty amazing. Yeah. A tearful boyfriend, ladies and gentlemen. A tearful boyfriend. Ta-da! I didn't know I was going to go through the whole thing t t today. I didn't know it was two hours. Yeah, it ended up being like pretty good. Like if you ignore the fact that they're birds, it's like a it's a pretty good. I mean, it's good either way. Like the fact that they're birds is kind of irrelevant to the whole thing when you get down to it. Yeah. It's got a pretty good narrative behind it. Yeah, I can see that. I, I'm, I'm with you. Yeah. Let me go through these credits here. By the pigeon and for the pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> that was great, man. I really liked it. That was pretty, pretty awesome. And, you know, of course you play through it again and you get more and different endings and stuff. So it looks like we got, what was that, ending number four? Yeah. There's a four up there. Yeah, I think it said a four, yeah. Okay, yeah. I kind of wasn't really sure what I was looking at when that came up. All right, so I think I'm going to go ahead and call it the stream. Uh, thanks for uh, watching. Thanks to uh, Methos Zemus, Methos Zemus. I'm not really sure how to pronounce your name, but... Yeah, I think it's Methos Zemus. Yeah. Thanks for uh, sticking around and uh, contributing, contributing and, and particip participating the whole time. I really enjoyed it. We had a good back and forth going. And thank you for not uh, revealing any spoilers. Thanks for watching. So uh, that's been Normal Game Couch. I've and been Mrs. Elfman. Been my co-host, Mrs. Elfman. I've been your host, Payton. And uh, I guess my third co-host, Mythos Zemus. <laughs> so thanks for watching Normal Game Couch. See you next time.